We have a Samsung BD-D6700 Blu-ray player. After almost four years of providing excellent service, it began to spontaneously turn itself on and off without anyone touching the remote or the power logo on the front screen. The player would turn itself on and off, on and off, on and off. I called Samsung. My player's out of warranty, but they talked me through removing the batteries in the remote to make sure the remote wasn't triggering the on and offs. So that was not the issue. It appears to be the front screen is the issue, the touch screen. Uh, in this video, you'll see how to disable your touch screen. Samsung wanted $100 to make this repair. Uh, they would have replaced the front cover. I'll talk later about possibly doing that. We're happy to just use our remote. So unplug your unit before beginning this. Uh, if you damage the unit or you hurt yourself, it's not my fault. I'm just showing you what I did. I removed the screw from the back of the player. I undid the clips that hold on the side covers. Those are the parts that need to be removed first. Once the side clips have been removed, you can access the clips that hold on the top cover uh, from both the sides, and there's a clip you need to unclip from the back. Then the top cover will slide off. Once the top cover has been removed, you can access the clips that hold on the front. Uh, work your way around, remove all of the clips holding on the front. Be very careful as it finally comes loose because there's a ribbon cable connecting the internal components to that front cover. In the middle of the front cover on the inside side, you can see that there is a small ribbon that connects from somewhere inside the front cover to the rest of the electronics. I used a pair of needle nose pliers to gently tug on that small ribbon cable. Uh, in this video you'll see I, I tug a little bit too hard in my demonstration. Uh, be gentle. And once that ribbon has been removed, the touch screen element of the front is no longer active, so it won't trigger your player turning on and off anymore. I flattened that out and without reconnecting it and then reattached the front cover with the ribbon cable disconnected. Reattaching all the clips going around, making sure everything's in tight on the front cover. Then it reattaching the top cover. It slides onto the front and then after it's being slid onto the front, make sure that's tight down all the way across the front of the player. Then make sure the clips reattach all the way around the perimeter. Once the top cover has been fully clipped in, the side panels can be reclipped. And of course, the screw on the back can be replaced to make sure everything doesn't come apart. On further research, I found that the entire front cover assembly, according to SearsPartsDirect.com, is a part AK96 01531A. Uh, they sell it for about a hundred dollars, which is what, about, about what Samsung wanted to fix the player. But I also saw it other places for under seventy dollars. So perhaps a complete repair could be made for seventy. But since we never use the buttons on the front anyway, we're perfectly happy to just use the remote control, and that's good enough for us. Hope this works for you.